Iran's economic problems have been deepening in recent months. The decline has gathered pace over the past weeks. Iran's national currency has significantly lost its value amid expectations that looming U.S. sanctions will hurt the economy hard. Weak economic growth and rising unemployment are among other tough challenges facing the government of President Hassan Rouhani. Now Iranian lawmakers want the president to come to the parliament and answer their questions about his government's handling of the situation. The lawmakers have given Rouhani one month to appear before parliament as public discontent with the state of the economy grows. Uh, the president needs to take actions uh, to restructure Iranian economy. And in the meantime, he needs to have, uh, you know, a plan to confront the U.S. schemes. Now the parliament uh, wants to supervise, you know, these plans to see if uh, he has picked up a proper plan and, and developed a proper plan. And if he is taking the right, you know, moves and uh, moving along this uh, correct direction. The Iranian president recently appointed a new central bank governor, but some of the government's critics say that Rouhani needs to implement bigger changes in his cabinet to meet the challenges. The Iranian president had heavily invested in the nuclear deal that emerged in 2015. The deal, also known as the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, was the result of painstaking diplomacy involving all permanent members of the UN Security Council plus Germany. The deal was even endorsed by a UN Security Council resolution. The JCPOA helped lift many international and US sanctions against Iran. But America's unilateral withdrawal from the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action in May seems to have seriously undermined the international agreement. America now says it will impose tough sanctions against Iran. This has put the Iranian president under pressure because the nuclear deal was his signature achievement. When he was, uh, you know, uh, moving along the path of the nuclear deal or the JCPOA, he needed uh, ministers and, and a team of economy uh, that included experts in foreign investment and especially uh, the ones who were, you know, specialized at uh, absorbing uh, foreign uh, uh, investment from the Western states. But now, after five years, that uh, he has come to realize that the deal is not going to play a major role in, in improving Iranian economy. Uh, he needs uh, different experts uh, in his team. Actually, he needs people who could develop, uh, you know, the potentials at home. The Iranian government is now negotiating with other parties to the deal, like the Europeans, China, and Russia, to see whether the deal can somehow be salvaged. The coming months will probably determine whether Tehran will remain in the deal or not. Tensions between the U.S. and Iran are at their highest levels in years. Top officials from both sides have been engaged in heated exchanges over the past weeks. But where will these tensions lead to? They seem to be taking a toll on the Iranian economy for now. U.S. President Donald Trump claims he is ready to make a new deal with the Iranians. But the U.S. President suffers from a severe lack of credibility on the international stage. How can the international community trust this man again? How can Iranians in particular trust him after what he did to the nuclear deal?